Foundation is holding an exclusive, inclusive rather, growth forum for the youth in KwaZulu-Natal this weekend at a historic place that made three giants of history. Mahatma Gandhi, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and founder of the Union of South Africa, Louis Bota, all fought in the Battle of Spionkop. Ntakwanangatani looks at how their paths crossed. This is your victory, he said to them. Winston Churchill led Britain to defeat German dictator Adolf Hitler in the Second World War. Today is victory in Europe Day. Tomorrow will also be victory in Europe Day. He was a young war correspondent for the Morning Post when he made his maiden trip to Southern Africa. Provoked that Boers were taking over her territory, Queen Victoria reinforced her troops to defend the Cape and Natal colonies. But unprepared, a train transporting a British advance team was ambushed by Boers outside Ladysmith and derailed. Its occupants were captured and held as war prisoners. Among them was Winston Churchill, who later escaped to Mozambique. He returned to fight the Battle of Spionkop, where the Boers were led by Louis Borta. The British were defeated, but they regrouped and captured Pretoria. Churchill got the honor to free his fellow prisoners of war there. His Morning Post articles had been published as London to Ladysmith via Pretoria, earning him immense popularity. And realizing this upon his return, he rode the wave of his political career, became a minister and eventually prime minister during the Second World War because of his experience in South Africa. He was known for his love of cigars. Among the Queen's servicemen at the Battle of Spionkop was none other than Mahatma Gandhi. He had come to South Africa in 1893, aged 24, as a newly qualified lawyer to represent a local Indian trader in a commercial dispute. But he saw the need to get more political rights for the Indian population in Southern Africa, and he stayed. When the Anglo-Boer War broke, he formed the Natal Indian Ambulance Corps, which joined the British command. 34 Indian leaders were awarded the Queen's South Africa Medal for the Boer War and Gandhi's is held by the Nehru Memorial Museum in New Delhi. The result of the mission that brought me to London, I know that I shall carry with me the pleasantest memories of my stay in the midst of the poor people of East London. His passive resistance campaign led to the establishment of an independent India in 1947 during Churchill's tenure as Prime Minister. The Boer victory in Natal gave Louis Borta the upper hand when he and General Jan Smart teamed up to form the union between the British colonies and the Boer states. And when the Union of South Africa emerged in 1910, Bota became the first Prime Minister. The siege of Ladysmith and the Battle of Spionkop made British Prime Minister Winston Churchill a hero in the UK. It made Louis Bota popular among Afrikaners to become the first Prime Minister of South Africa. And it changed Mahatma Gandhi's view on violence as a means of solving conflict, forging his views on peaceful resistance, and led to the independence of India free from Britain. Ntakwanangatani, SABC News, Champagne Valley, KwaZulu-Natal.